Hello and welcome to Reginald Talks to Things. I'm your host, Reginald. Today in the podcast, I'm having a conversation with a trophy. I don't tend to win a, a lot of trophies, but uh, you might have won a trophy for being the fastest in a race, or, or getting the highest score in a bowling tournament, or doing the best gymnastics, or, or remembering the most viral verses, or making the best Lego creation. Oh, you can win a trophy for uh, something you do on your own or something you do as part of a team. Since I, I don't usually win trophies, I'm looking forward to getting to know this one and maybe getting some tips about how to win some more. Oh, trophy, welcome to the show. Hit you! <clears throat> huh, thanks for having me, Reggie. Hit you! It's great to be here. Oh, uh, are you all right? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's just a little dusty where they keep me. Oh, okay. Uh, so, well, I don't have a lot of experience with trophies. Sometimes I play this video game where you race around the track like me. And if I win, then my character on the screen gets a humongous trophy. But what's it like being a real trophy? It's all right, I guess. Uh, I'm sort of a symbol that someone worked really hard and t did their best and t got really, really good at something. Oh, yeah. I imagine that would be pretty cool. Like, people work s super hard for years and years to win a, win a medal at the Olympics or, or to win a Stanley Cup or to win a big, a big prize at a music festival. And, and you're the reward for... All of that hard work that people put into to become the best at something. Well, second best in my case, but but yeah, that's it. Oh, second best? Oh yeah, I'm the trophy for um, second place in the 2011 Guysboro County Washer Toss Invitational. Sean worked really hard to earn me, but Peggy was a, l a little better that particular day. Oh, well... And what has life been like since the washer toss tournament? I've been sitting on the floor of the attic of Sean's house. You're you not exactly talking to a Grammy Award here. Oh, yeah. I guess I guess it's true that some trophies seem to be a little more special. Yeah, but all of us trophies are about trying to reward people who work really hard and and to do their best, whether it's a Super Bowl ring or a washer toss trophy. It's good to give people a goal or a vision of the future. Oh, I see. Do you think we should have trophies for other things? Like, you know, like a trophy for keeping a room clean or, or a, a, a gold medal for setting the table without being asked. Last week in Upstream, we were talking about loving our enemies. Maybe we should make a big trophy for the person who does that the best. Mm, following Jesus is not usually something that, that the world rewards with a trophy or a prize. You know, Jesus loved his enemies and cared for people and taught. And um, no one gave him a medal for it. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, but the prize for following Jesus is way better than any any Super Bowl ring or Olympic medal or or Academy Award or anything like that. What? Wait, really? Oh, so there is a big reward? Like, is it even a, a bigger ring than a Super Bowl ring? No, the prize for following Jesus is... You get to be close to Jesus. And that's way better than a ring. Oh, I should have known that Jesus was going to be the answer. Any trophy that you get is going to fade away in the end. Even the coolest of trophies eventually end up in someone's dusty attic. Hmm. That reminds me of how Jesus talks about storing up treasures in heaven instead of, instead of here on earth. Exactly. Following Jesus and telling people about him and loving your enemies, those things are changing the world and bringing you closer 
to a prize that lasts forever. Oh, oh thanks, Trophy. That's, that's a help of perspective. Uh, well, that's all the time we have for today. Uh, thanks all, to all of you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all of that stuff. Uh, I'll see you next time on Original Talks to Things. Thank you.